What's up everybody? So I'm back again with another reaction and you know this time I'm going to be reacting to live it was it Nintendo Direct for was it September 13th so you know I'm so excited about this uh, it actually was supposed to air was it last week but due to the unfortunate events of the earthquake in Japan you know they had to delay it so you know I got a lot of predictions you know that they're going to show off you know Probably uh, some more about uh, was it Pokemon, was it Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu? Uh, they're probably gonna announce like a couple, you know, like new games. Uh, it was already leaked that uh, they, they uh, which called the full title for the new Yoshi game is out, which I haven't seen the leaks or whatever because I I don't want to be spoiled. So and also the only one thing that I know for certain is apparently there it was it. There's going to be a new, was it, Civilization game or whatever that's coming to the Switch. But I, other than that, like, you know, I have no idea what else they're going to show. They probably show, like, some more, like, about a Smash. They might reveal a new character. I don't know yet. So, just going to make sure everything's cool. So, yeah, let me go ahead and post this real quick. So yeah, it's just, let's hope there's like a lot of surprises. I'm not going to like, you know, like, I'm not expecting too much, but, it, you know, at the same time, like, they always have, like, some sort of surprise, so, you know. I think if they announced, was it Banjo-Kazooie for, uh, was it Super Smash Brothers? that, that, that would be freaking awesome. So. Cannot wait. Go ahead and pull, pull up my stream on my phone. That way I can see chat. Ooh, two minutes to go. Let's do this. Can I wait? There we go. One more minute. So, as far as the 3DS goes, I think they'll probably only spend like, you know, like maybe five minutes tops on it. I don't know. We'll see. But I I hope that's all they spend on it because, I mean, you know, I feel like the 3DS is kind of like, you know, like nobody really plays it that much anymore. So, it's all about the Switch. So, but we'll see. I still want to get that up with a Luigi's Mansion remake on the 3DS. I wish they would have put it on Switch, but hey. Who knows? They might have surprised everybody and released a, was it a true sequel to a, was it Luigi's Mansion on the Switch. I don't know. We'll see. Go. Should be starting any second now. Yep. Let's go. Let's do this. What you got for me, Nintendo?
This has got to be the remake. One, three, two. Although this is looking kind of good for a 3DS. Are they listening to fans and actually putting... This one is... <gasps> Luigi's Mansion 3! 2019! Holy hell! Hello, everyone. Already with the... Wow! Holy hell! As you just saw, we kicked things off with a new reveal. And I'm pleased to confirm that Luigi's next... I was kidding! ...is in development for Nintendo Switch. We have a lot to say wow. about the game, but we'll have to save that for another time. Now, let's cover some upcoming games for Nintendo 3DS. Oh my god, that was take a look. awesome. Alright, I'm buying a Switch. The pink puffball gets crafty again. What? The 2010 Wii game Kirby's Epic Yarn is warping to Nintendo 3DS. In We're just gonna keep porting stuff over. Everything. From enemies to obstacles to who knows what else is entirely made of yarn. Even robots! Somehow. <laughs> and to be forces made of yarn, you gotta use moves made of yarn. Every stage from the Wii version is making a return. And the Nintendo 3DS version is also being puffed up with some new features. When you pick up What's items, next though? Animal Crossing? Bigger yarn balls. Or you can even conjure up some wind to rake in the beans. That's the a challenge. See if you can outrun this speed I demon still of cannot believe they just mode. like out of nowhere it's just like off, new I was kidding when I said it too. Pieces. Like Kirby's extra epic yarn launches exclusively for Nintendo 3DS in 2019. Well, I'll admit I was half kidding when I said it. Bowser Jr. Destined for greatness? What? The Mushroom Kingdom has a bad case of the Blorbs, and the only ones who can save it are Mario, Luigi, and Bowser? It can only be Mario and Luigi Bowser's inside story. They just announced this, not that long ago. another side to every story, even this one. Now they're showing this again. Now you can go on Bowser Jr.'s journey as well. In his new adventure, Bowser Jr. sets off to find his own remedy for the Blorbs. But thanks to his signature selfishness, he ends up causing more problems than he cures. Better gather some allies and build up your very own army. Create your own formations, support allies with an arsenal of moves, and conquer the chaos in every action-packed battle. Is Bowser Jr. destined for glorious kingship like his papa? Mario & Luigi Bowser's Inside Story plus Bowser Jr.'s Journey releases on Nintendo 3DS January 11th. Hunt ghosts with Luigi and a second player? While you're waiting for the new game on Nintendo Wait, Switch, don't forget that the original Luigi's Mansion is coming to Nintendo 3DS. I knew about that. that comedically spooky vibe that fans remember is intact, even when you're playing the new two player mode making its debut in the Nintendo 3DS version. What? If you and another player each own the game, one of you can play as this even greener guy as you explore the mansion together. Okay. That's pretty or, cool. If only one of you has the game, you can still play boss battles together in the gallery using download play on your Nintendo 3DS systems. Oh yeah, in Professor Egad's lab, you can tap select amiibo figures to surprising results, like revealing hidden boos or healing Luigi when he talks to Toad. Each of the four really? compatible amiibo has a different effect. Luigi's Mansion will haunt Nintendo 3DS on October 12th, just in time for Halloween. Yo-Kai Watch Blasters is out now, with even more free content coming later. I still need to get through Yo-Kai Watch Whether too. your allegiance is with the Red Cat Corps or the White Dog Squad, Yo-Kai Watch Blasters will let you team up with friends to tackle the most action-packed battles in the series yet. Soon after launch, you'll have another way to squad up. You won't want to miss the free software update on September 27th, which adds the Moon Rabbit Crew version to the title screen. This additional content boasts new bonuses for linking save data between Red Cat Core and White Dog Squad, as well as new missions, new areas to explore, new yokai to befriend, and new Big Boss yokai. That looks like fun. Why, you ask? You know why. And if you don't, 
Now's the perfect time to become a fan. Yokai Watch Blasters is out now. There's two of them. Don't forget about the Moon Rabbit Crew update. Oh, I'm sorry, three of them. That's all the headlines for Nintendo 3DS. How's it going? See, look at that. Well, That's cool. From here, you only spent like, let's focus what, on Nintendo Switch titles. Three, four minutes on it? Cool. Please take a look. Go. It's Inkopolis news time. Another one? Can you just have an update? I like the music though. Everyone's favorite blue robot makes his triumphant return in Mega Man 11. I think I heard Marking that this was coming out for the Switch. Of the iconic series, this brand new game Still gotta download the demo. On Nintendo Switch. Jump, slide, and shoot through each of the colorful challenging stages and try to take down a gallery of deadly bosses like the formidable Bounce Man. In timeless fashion, you must defeat the eight robot masters and get each of their special weapons. The technological miracle of the new double gear system makes for a fresh take on the series' satisfying platforming action. Move so fast that time slows down around you. Temporarily enhance your weapons and show them who the real boss is when you need to most. Mega Man 11 also supports the Mega Man Amiibo figures. You can tap one each day to receive E-Tanks and other useful in-game items. Mega okay. Man 11 will be ready to rock October 2nd. Mario Tennis Aces, further refined in new update. Hmm. Okay. Some popular characters are joining the roster. I still, I still want to get this game if I ever get a Switch. Birdo, the sharpshooting specialist, Shy Guy. The proud high flyer, Koopa Paratroopa. And the big boss with no racket, PD Piranha. Boss with no racket, PD Piranha. Okay, why did they do that? These Mushroom Kingdom greats can be acquired by playing online. And we'll keep adding more until next June. There will even be a new mode called Co-op Challenge. It'll let you participate in online co-op missions that are only available for a limited time. Complete the objectives while these missions are active, and you'll receive special outfits, characters with alternate color schemes, and more. We'll continue serving up new content for the game in the future. The version 2 update for Mario Tennis Aces will be available September 19th. These arcade classics are back in action. Back in the day, Capcom lit up the arcades with some classic beat-em-up action games. And guess what? So ba the good basically, old days it's are like back. a virtual console Final without fight. a virtual console. The King of Dragons. Captain Commando, Knights of the Round, and Warriors of Fate are making a comeback. And so are these first-time home console releases. Armored Warriors and Battle Circuit are joining the fight for a total of seven games. 
If you each have a Joy-Con controller, up to four players can beat them up together. Aspiring Bash Buddies can even take the fight online this time. Well, that's cool. Not a huge online well, player, but you'll be able yeah. to play with other Capcom fans from around the world. Because Capcom Beat 'Em Up Bundle will be ready for action on Nintendo eShop September 18th. Some like five Super days. Mario Brothers U is getting the deluxe treatment, which means it's time to take down Bowser and his Koopaling invasion. I swear, there's like, I feel like there's too many Wii U Nintendo ports. Switch. Mario, Luigi, and Toad are all here, and if that's not enough, Nabbit and Toadette are joining in the fun as well. Nabbit doesn't take damage from enemies, which can really come in handy. I say it's like and if easy. Toadette powers easy up mode. with a super crown. Ta-da! She transforms into Peachette. Peachette can double jump, float slowly during free fall, and get a boost back up if she falls into a pit. Luigi's first starring role in a platforming adventure, New Super Luigi U, is getting the deluxe treatment too, and comes free of charge. Really? A single Joy-Con controller is all a player needs, and up to four players can join in together, anytime, anywhere. New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe comes down the pipe January 11th. Nintendo Switch is ready to roll. Are you what is Katamari? What's that game? Katamari? Whatever. Yeah, that's exactly what this is. It's coming out on the Switch. I've actually never played this, but heard good things about this. It can only be Katamari Damacy. Yeah, that game. Remastered in HD. That naughty king of all cosmos has made a mess. They like port and remaster. Now you better I, take control yeah, of the they, prince here. They just rem and roll. came out. Just well, roll and I don't know if it's out yet. But they the place. just remastered and all stuff. I it. Until the, the gravity growing the mass towers over buildings. The clump or Katamari you roll will shine on as a beautiful star in the sky. On Nintendo Switch, you can enjoy the game's new gyro controls, HD rumble and even multiplayer battles by each using a Joy-Con controller. Roll it till you reach the stars anytime, anywhere. Katamari Damacy Reroll will launch Winter 2018. Okay. Next, we have some more news for you. We've announced some details about Nintendo's new service called Nintendo Switch Online, including the launch date. I heard uh, they kind of screwed this up a little bit, but... The service will begin September 18th. So like four days. We prepared a video to show you what's offered with your Nintendo Switch Online membership. So please take a look. More games, more features, more fun. Nintendo Switch Online. Allow us to introduce five features included with your membership. Of course. Of course, you can play compatible games together online, even when you're far apart. Just like PlayStation Plus. Compete against players. Where you have to over. have it in order to play online. Or team up for some great co-op action. There are so many ways to have fun. A variety of games are supported. So find your favorites and take them online. You can even play classic NES games anytime, anywhere on Nintendo Switch. Get lost in the gameplay, whether you're the boss Wait, what? or the little. So monster. there is going to be a virtual Multiple console. Player like... Each player can grab a Joy-Con controller, so both of you can share in the fun. NES games can also be played online, as they say. Playing together long distance makes the heart grow fonder. Look forward to a growing library of NES games. Luigi knows that no matter how careful you try to be, something unexpected can happen. Accidents can cause your precious save data to disappear. But help is on the way. With Nintendo Switch Online, Game save data is automatically backed up in the cloud. Even if your console breaks, your save data will be safe from harm. 
Nintendo Switch Online also connects with the smartphone app. With this app, you can voice chat with friends while playing certain games. Backseat players can also join in the conversation. That way everyone's having fun. Why not just put that on a console? Like why, why do you have to have a smartphone app? Like really? The service even has the ability to enhance certain games by connecting with them, like Splatnet 2. Members will also receive special offers. What are they? We'll have more to announce in the future. More games, more features, more fun. Nintendo Switch Online. Okay. The service begins September 18th. Think about which plan is right for you. If your family has two or more accounts, you can save some money with the family membership. How's it look? Well, we have one more thing we'd like to introduce. This Nintendo Entertainment System style controller works with NES games on Nintendo Switch. This one here okay. is the left NES I want one. controller. And this is the right NES controller. We created them so you can play NES games like the ones you saw in the video, just like old school gamers did back in the day. Please enjoy them with Nintendo Entertainment System, Nintendo Switch Online. These controllers wirelessly connect with Nintendo Switch. And you can charge them by simply attaching them to the console. We hope you'll enjoy using these controllers to play this growing library of classic NES games. For more details about Nintendo Switch Online, please check the official Nintendo website. Now, let's get back to some more Nintendo Switch games. Your partner Pokemon is amazing! Get ready to set off on a Kanto region adventure with your very own partner Pokemon in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Today, we want to share a couple things that you and your partner can enjoy in the upcoming game. During your adventure, you'll occasionally come across obstacles blocking your path. When you do, you can rely on a secret technique to get past them. Secret, secret techniques are special skills really? that only your partner Pikachu or Eevee can use in the wild. Use them to chop down trees that stand in your way, travel across water, or soar into the sky. Furthermore, only your partner so can you from hidden machines can learn to certain powerful moves for you know, AKA HMs to Plus, if secret you pet techniques. your partner while your Nintendo Switch is in handheld mode, you can change your partner's hairstyle, depending on how you use the touchscreen to pet it. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu okay. and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee will launch on November 16th. So like I said, I'm still more excited about that uh, mainline also, Pokemon game that's supposed to come out look next for year. two new bundles that will include a Nintendo Switch system with Pikachu and Eevee-style Joy-Con controllers, <laughs> One of these two Pokemon adventures and the Pokeball Plus accessory. The gates to the burning hells will open on Nintendo Switch. Of course, we're talking about Diablo 3. Oh. The dark fantasy adventure that may just consume your life both inside and outside the game world. From the high heavens to the burning hells, you'll explore the full story and the deadly world of Sanctuary for loot-filled bounties and rifts to randomize dungeons with even greater spoils. Play as a demon hunter, barbarian, crusader, necromancer, witch doctor, monk, or wizard, with up to three friends online, offline via local co-op, or on a single console couch co-op style. You can even suit up in this Nintendo Switch exclusive transmog armor fit for the King of Evil, Ganondorf. I was gonna say, it looks exactly like All Ganondorf. All Amiibo figures are compatible allowing you to summon a group of challenging enemies overflowing with sparkling goodies. Diablo 3 Eternal Collection invades Nintendo Switch on November 2nd. Of course, you couldn't have it without some sort of Nintendo spin on it. We're making this party super. We've souped up the Mario Party series with new types of gameplay on Nintendo Switch. Alright, so we're gonna get more details about this. Nice. Shake the Joy-Con controller and get your body grooving in soundstage or dive into the series' first four-player co-op mode, River Survival. 
bet you've never played anything like Toad's Rec Room, which cleverly connects two systems. Of course, the four-player board game mode that fans love is back and full of new features. Nice. By rolling yeah, because I don't like, yeah, I didn't like that whole, you know, card thing. That, that was stupid. Comeback. You got stuck. Every last minigame is brand new, all 80 of them. For a party of one, check out the new single-player modes. You could play through a series of minigames to complete specific tasks on Challenge Road. Compete against players around the world in the online Mario-thon minigame mode. Nice! The festivities begin when Super Mario Party launches October 5th. A new story in a village with a secret to hide. Game Freak presents a brand new RPG. The story is set in a small village. Under the protection of a great castle, the settlement enjoyed lasting peace. That is, okay. until the sudden appearance of monsters. Indeed, the entire story takes place in this one single village. Take up arms against invading monsters and strategically select from a variety of battle commands. When the situation calls for it, Enlist the aid of fellow villagers to surmount powerful threats. <laughs> what secret does the village harbor? Find out when town releases in 2019. All right, I might have to get that. It looks interesting. Develop a city anytime, anywhere. Why have I heard of that? The critically acclaimed city building game City Skylines is coming to Nintendo Switch. Hey, yeah, wasn't that like a mobile game? There's a city in need of a new mayor. You. And you've got some real moving and shaking to do if you want to improve quality of life, energize businesses, and stimulate growth. Whether you're investing in roads and power lines, public facilities, or transportation services. Oh, so it's pretty much just like a... How the city develops is totally up to you. You're kind of a big Sim deal. City. But in this game, sometimes it's the small details that stand out Wait, most. was this a mobile do game or was it a PC game? I know I've heard of this. What's more, both previously released downloadable content packs After Dark and Snowfall are included in the Nintendo Switch version. Nice. Flex your mayoral might at home or on the go when City Skylines launches today on Nintendo eShop. Really? A tale of belief, blood, and steel. The moon has fallen. Now, the world and its Oh, this game. I showed this in uh, E3. In Ex Machina. As a mercenary, you'll pilot a powered suit called an arsenal, face down runaway AI. As you defeat enemies during combat, you'll acquire their weapons and parts, which you can equip on the fly. If you haul acquired weapons back to the base, they're added to your personal armory for use in future missions. Each arsenal can be equipped with multiple weapons. By changing between projectile and melee attacks, you can adapt your weaponry to the situation at hand and gain the advantage for your side of the war. At any time during battle, you can exit your arsenal to explore the field on foot. I hate your fan of mech games, but I do dig the music. Your arsenal's abilities will be augmented as well. Up to four players can join forces in online co-op to take down massive bosses. This song would be a nightmare to play on Guitar Hero. Damon X Machina launches in 2019. A big adventure in a miniature world of crafts. Oh, yeah, Yoshi. In a world made of Yoshi's stuff like boxes world. and okay. paper cups, Yoshi will leap up high, gobble enemies, and hustle on by. Many unusual obstacles litter the landscape. A well-placed egg could open a new pathway. I don't have to show any more about a you can turn Metroid the stage on its head or flip the perspective. I was thinking about that. Explore every nook and cranny to track down hidden collectibles and make it to the gold. I love Yoshi's story. Along the way... Wait, what? You can play the course backwards? Guess a change in outlook <laughs> really can show you a whole different side of the world. The flip side. Know any would-be Yoshis? Then pass a Joy-Con controller to a friend. There's plenty to love on all sides of this crafty world. Right, Yoshi? Alright, so when's it coming out? World Spring next year, okay. Hopefully I'll have a Switch by then. Tabletop gaming is a perfect fit for Nintendo Switch. 
What? And to prove it, Asmodee Digital, a leader in card and board games, is bringing full adaptations of best-selling tabletop games to the system. Build a medieval world in a full adaptation of the award-winning Carcassonne, complete with 3D maps, solo mode, four-player local multiplayer, and the game's famous expansions available as paid DLC. Okay. Whether you play alone or alongside a second player, forge a powerful deck and a fellowship of three to face the forces of Sauron in each story-driven quest of the Lord of the Rings, the living card game. Stop the spread of four diseases and cure them all on your own or in local four-player multiplayer with Pandemic, plus its individually priced DLC based on popular expansions. Thanks to Asmodee, this is just the beginning for tabletop gaming on Nintendo Switch. In addition to these titles, we can also confirm that even more is on the way, including one of the most popular board games ever, Catan, and a dungeon crawler based on Steve Jackson's iconic card game, Munchkin. Stay tuned. Hmm, seems interesting. All great creations, even nations, begin with a spark. Oh, civilization. It's gotta be what this is, right? Yep, civilization. Never played a single civilization game ever. My friend eh, was it loves Hold these an games. Empire but... in the palm of your hands and turn friends into the power elite with exclusive four player local multiplayer. Civilization 6 ushers in a new world on Nintendo Switch November 16th. Yeah. Don't get too cocky, Star Fox. Oh, Playtime is over. They had me for like five seconds. I this thought they were getting ready to announce the new Star Fox game. I was like, Fox McCloud to your limits. Let's be honest here. You guys need all the help you can get. Peppy, Falco, and Slippy yeah. will provide much needed backup in the new Nintendo Switch exclusive missions found only in Starlink Battle for Atlas. I might Starbucks. be getting this game just for this. Falco here. I got you covered. It's time to lock on, do a barrel roll, and save the Atlas Star System. No matter who threatens to stop you. Wolf. <laughs> Never thought I'd miss the food on Conaria. Mix and match parts okay. on your own R-Wing when Starlink Battle October for Atlas 16th. takes flight October 16th. Two more great RPGs are coming to Nintendo Switch this fall. Okay. The World Ends With You Final Remix features an all-new story segment called A New Day, which contains a that was map out. of Shibuya, so you'll really have to scramble to escape the area or face Erasure. New monsters will appear as well, and so will the Reaper, Coco. The World Ends With You Final Remix launches October 12th. Before then, guide a group of legendary warriors on a journey through the tragic history that doomed a kingdom and drove a hero down a dark path 500 years before the events of the Xenoblade Chronicles 2 game. Defend yourself from Malos and his forces using all the fury of this I refined switch battle on system, I might have to get allowing this, you to fight yeah, as both the artificial life forms known as Blades and their masters, the Drivers. We'll Newcomers will have the perfect place to start when Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Torna, the Golden Country, launches September 21st. Owners of the Xenoblade Chronicles 2 expansion pass can download this new content tomorrow. That's a week early. Wow. There's tons in store on Nintendo Switch and even more in store for the future. Join more than 38 million players for free-to-play co-op space ninja action when Warframe launches November 20th. Get down to Camila Cabello, Bruno Mars, Cardi B, and more anytime, anywhere in Dance 2019 on October 23rd. FIFA 19 is fast approaching, and you can pre-purchase it on Nintendo eShop tomorrow, so you won't miss the ball when it launches September 28th. Speaking of fast, race as a team and win as a team in Team Sonic Racing. Launching I almost this forgot winter. about this game. Man. The highest-rated basketball simulation games. franchise is back. 
NBA 2K19 is available now on Nintendo Switch. And get ready to jam in the sequel to the smash hit NBA arcade game, NBA 2K Playgrounds 2, coming this fall. Play as the Joker, Harley, Lex Luthor, and the rest of the best of the worst in the all-new LEGO DC Supervillains on October 16th. Final Fantasy comes to Nintendo Switch. Wait, what? Lupo. Oh. I almost had a heart attack. I thought they were going to say Final Fantasy VII. I was like... 15 years after its debut, the co-op action RPG Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles is being remastered for Nintendo Switch. Isn't that the... the uh... With the new online multiplayer mode, you and your friends can connect and adventure together. No link cable required. On top of that, yeah, there are new like, areas inside dungeons, so even returning fans can explore. I don't know what genre you call that, but Final it's, Fantasy Crystal uh, Chronicles Remastered Edition will launch in 2019. Way before then, players can experience the entire okay. world no and surprise. story of the latest entry in the core series. That's right. See, now coming out on that, that makes sense. I mean, of course, that would be awesome if they could release like the actual full, you know, like the regular game on the Switch, but. This this makes sense, but releasing that on the leveled up version Ooh, of World of nice. Final Fantasy is also on the way. But you know, this coming out on uh, you know, the, the pocket edition of FF15 coming out on PS4. That that's stupid. Across the series' storied history, many fan favorites will show up. I played a demo for this on PS4. I November 6th. I want to get this. In addition. More Chocobo's Dungeon is on the way. 2007's Final Fantasy Fables. Let me guess, they're going to announce Final Fantasy VII Remake on the Switch. No, I'm kidding. Now, you can befriend all the monsters. Also, by sharing Joy Con controllers, you can play cooperatively as well. Chocobo's Mystery Dungeon Everybody launches this winter. Final Fantasy XII is coming to a Nintendo system for the first time. Its real-time battle system is a standout in the series, offering the ultimate in both freedom and strategy. Really? This remaster comes loaded with a host of extra features, including a speed mode that lets you pick up the pace of your adventure. There's much to discover in the expansive world of Evil okay. and now you can explore it on the couch or on the go. Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age launches in 2019. Which reminds me, no. <gasps> Later on, you'll also be able to enjoy these other classics. Get the hell out of here! Anytime, anywhere. It's just a, a re remaster. It's not Final it's Fantasy not... Seven, Nine, and Ten. Ten Two HD remaster are coming Get to Nintendo Switch in 2019. That's awesome. Here's you a wait. bundle for the ultimate. When it gets closer to what's it? Good? If you love the Super Smash Brothers series, check this thing out. A hardware bundle for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate is on the I want one. That looks this awesome. This specially designed dock features fighters from the original Super Smash Brothers game. And of course, the set also includes a download code for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Of course. There's no better way to show your love for the game. And the set also packs in something you'll want to get your hands on. Of course. These Joy-Con controllers sport a new design as well. This Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Bundle for Nintendo Switch will launch November 2nd. Nice. You can pre-order the special bundle later today. November 2nd is also the day you can get your own GameCube controller adapter in GameCube Controller Super Smash Brothers okay. Ultimate Edition while supplies last. That's all the headlines for Nintendo Switch. Still going well? Thank you all for watching. We have a bit more to show you. So... Please stick around until the very end. Oh, believe me, I will. <gasps> They're listening to fans of putting Animal Crossing on the Switch, or is this... Are they putting her on in Smash?
Get the hell out of here, so listening. Are they making her like an echo fighter? Is that what this is? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Again, is she an echo fighter for a villager or what? <laughs> Are they putting him in there as, as her echo fighter? Or is this a new... Wait, are they getting ready to announce finally an Animal Crossing game for the Switch? Finally! Nintendo is listening! Finally! Awesome. It's not it, is, is it, is it? That was it? Oh. I thought there would have been more to that, but whatever. Eh. Okay. But, uh, anyways, if y'all like this stream and you would like to see me do more of these uh, type of streams whenever there's a Nintendo Direct or E3 or whatever, remember, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.